Alright, let's be honest here. Currently, superhero movies dominate the film industry. With some upcoming years having a record of 8 superhero movies coming out, there are a lot of these movies to cover between 2015 and 2020, which I'm going to do here today. I've made a similar video to this on the Marvel and DC lineups, and I'm still including those here, but now I'm including everything. X-Men, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, and so on. And by including everything, I really mean I'm not going to talk about the Ninja Turtles or the Power Rangers, because sorry TMNT and MMPR fans, I just don't really know anything about those. Alright, let's start. Start this. 2015 is already upon us, and funnily enough, this is the weakest year as far as superhero movies that I'm going to go through. Well, more or less. First off, we have Avengers 2. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that Avengers 2 is easily my most anticipated movie of the year. Avengers is one of my favorite movies of all time, and the sequel looks so good. It does look quite a bit darker than the first, but I'm okay with that. I mean, Empire Strikes Back was a lot darker than the first Star Wars, and yet it was still awesome. Anyway, Ultron looks awesome, we see Captain America's shield broken in half, and oh yeah, Hulk vs Hulkbuster. Needless to say, I am beyond excited for this movie. No strings on me. And now over to Ant-Man. No, I'm kidding, I'm excited for Ant-Man. Definitely not as excited as I am for Avengers, but still pretty pumped. The trailer was, you know, whatever, but the shrinking stuff looks really cool. I think Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas are great actors, and that's about it. There isn't really that much to say about it. It looks cool, but if it ends up not being that good, I wouldn't be surprised. And last on the list is Fantastic Four. Okay, here's where I stand. If I had made this video before the Fantastic Four trailer came out, I'd be standing here going, oh man, Fantastic Four is gonna suck, it's gonna be the worst superhero movie ever. Now that the trailer came out, out, I'm standing here going, hmm, not bad. Looks pretty cool. That trailer honestly swayed me from thinking the movie was going to be bad to thinking the movie was going to be cool. It looks like it has grit, the powers look actually pretty good, Thing looks awesome. I still have some reservations about the story and cast, but overall, this has now piqued my interest. Alright, now we get into the big years. 2016 might be the best year in superhero movies. We have eight of these movies coming at us, and all of them look incredible. Well, almost all. First off, Deadpool. Just call me oh. All I know about this is that Ryan Reynolds is perfect for the role, the test footage looks amazing, and I am super pumped. Deadpool is such a fun and weird character. This could be one of the most unique superhero movies out there, with the main character constantly breaking the fourth wall and making pop culture references. Oh, hello there. I bet you're wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. Next, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. I'm also really excited for this. I like Man of Steel, I don't hate Zack Snyder like a lot of people do, and the bat suit looks awesome. On top of that, this is the first movie ever that is offering us Batman and Superman in the same film. That's gotta be worth something. However, the casting has been strange to say the least, and Man of Steel isn't perfect, and this movie got delayed, which is never a good sign. But you know what, who cares? I just want to see Batman and Superman in live action beating each other senseless. Speaking of my favorite heroes beating each other senseless, Captain America Civil War. Even though we see nothing from this movie besides the logo, I am almost as excited for this as I am for Age of Ultron. Captain America and Iron Man are two of my favorite superheroes. Give them some heroes each and have them fight for a good reason, and this could be the best superhero movie ever. On top of that, Civil War is one of my favorite comics, and Batman v Superman backed away from the same release date as this movie. Repeat, a film with both Batman and Superman in it moved its release date from May to March because of Civil War. That's a pretty good sign for Marvel at least. X-Men Apocalypse is up next. Uh, yeah should be good. I don't really have enough info to make a big opinion about it, but I love Days of Future Past, the young cast is good, more Quicksilver is great, Apocalypse is a pretty cool villain, and Oscar Isaac is a fine actor. So I'm excited, but I really just want to see more from it. Okay, Suicide Squad. This could be awesome. The cast is the main thing to go off from here, and besides the fact that Tom Hardy left, which kinda sucks, a cast that has Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jared Leto, and even Jai Courtney gets me excited. This will also be our first look at the Joker since 2008, unless of course they show a bit of him in Batman v Superman but it'll also be the first time live action movie appearance of a lot of iconic villains, like Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Captain Boomerang. Alright, Captain Boomerang I can take or leave, but you get the point. The Suicide Squad comics aren't extremely well known, so some people might think it's a little strange to make a movie about them, but I think and hope it'll work. And speaking of strange, yes, Doctor Strange is next, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. Doctor Strange is a cool enough character, but the main reason I'm excited for this is Benedict Cumberbatch. Sure, he was good as Smaug and Khan, but what I now know and respect him for is his performance in the Imitation Game. Both that movie and his performance were phenomenal. Next, Sinister Six. 
Um, the current state of the Spider-Man franchise, I think we can all agree, is not that great. The spin-off could be good. The team has some interesting villains. I assume it'll be starring Dane DeHaan as Green Goblin, which is alright. Paul Giamatti as Rhino, which isn't that good. And possibly Michael Massey as The Gentleman. It'll be directed and written by Drew Goddard, who wrote Cloverfield, World War Z, and directed Cabin in the Woods. Having seen none of those, I can't really comment, but he is directing the upcoming Daredevil Netflix show, which looks pretty cool. So this one, eh, could be good, could be bad. And finally, Gambit, the third X-Men movie in one year. This should be good, Channing Tatum as Gambit sounds fun, and it's being written by Chris Claremont, who wrote a few episodes of the X-Men cartoon from the 90s. So yeah, it has potential. Alright, finally, let's move on to 2017. Now look, there are a lot of superhero movies this year, so I'm going to do another one of my famous speed rounds. A third Wolverine movie. The first one sucked, the second one was pretty good, this could go either way. This might also be the last X-Men movie with Hugh Jackman, so hopefully his send-off will be a good one. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I can't wait for this. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 was hilarious, and such a fun movie, and with all the cast and director James Gunn returning, this will hopefully be just as awesome. Wonder Woman. Yes, in 2017, we are finally getting a Wonder Woman movie. I'm not quite sure how this will turn out. It'll be directed by Michelle McLaren, who's known for doing episodes of Breaking Bad and The X-Files, so that's promising. My only concern is Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She looks the part, but we haven't seen her acting in the role yet, so if she's terrible in Dawn of Justice, then I'll be way less excited for this. Also, someone let me know. Is it Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot? Fantastic Four 2. Really? There's already going to be a sequel to a movie that hasn't even come out yet that looks like it's going to be good at best? Sometimes I don't get you, Hollywood. Thor Ragnarok. Okay, at this point, I didn't really think we were going to get another Thor. I have thoroughly enjoyed Thor and Thor the Dark World, but I don't think we need another one. I think a Loki movie would have been way better. However, this is bringing in the Ragnarok story, which is an epic story not just famous from the comics, but from actual Norse mythology. This movie might also bring Kenneth Branagh back to direct, and we've gotten promises of getting more Loki than we've ever seen, so this could very well end up being great. Black Panther. Yeah, looks good. I haven't seen 42 or Step On Up, but from the things I have seen, Chadwick Boseman seems like a good guy and a good fit for Black Panther. And finally, Justice League. Honestly, I'm really hoping this will be good. I love the Justice League, so it's really exciting to finally have the prospect of them being on the big screen in live action. The cast looks good, and like I said, I don't hate Zack Snyder. I hope they don't take an extremely dark tone on this, but we'll just have to wait and see. In 2018, we're getting some pretty heavy hitters. First off, The Flash. I've watched a little bit of The Flash TV show, and yeah, it's good. I could see a whole movie of that. If the super speed scenes are like Quicksilver's from Days of Future Past, then count me in. I really like Grant Gustin as Barry Allen, the guy who plays him on the TV show. However, they've cast Ezra Miller, who I don't really know much about, but based on what I've heard, he should be fine. Then we have Avengers Infinity War Part 1. What all of these Marvel movies have apparently been building up to culminates in this movie. Thanos comes down all smiling and is like, hey guys, remember me? Yeah you're all dead. Basically, another Avengers movie? Heck yeah, let's do it. Then we have Inhumans. I don't know anything about the Inhumans except for the fact that Black Bolt is awesome. However, Marvel does really well with unknown characters, so I'm optimistic. Then we have the other MCU movie, Captain Marvel. I don't really care for the character of Captain Marvel in the comics, so this movie doesn't really have me as pumped as the others. But it's Marvel. Enough said. Back to DC, we have Aquaman, with Game of Thrones' Jason Momoa. Aquaman never really stood out to me as anything special, but I've started to realize as I read more Aquaman comics that he's a character to be reckoned with. On top of that, Aquaman is a bit of a joke character nowadays, so if they want to make this movie serious and have Aquaman be a serious tough guy, yeah. Jason Momoa is the way to go. Now, 2019 only has three that have been announced, the first of which is Shazam. This looks like it's going to be awesome. DC has said that this is going to be separate from the rest of the universe, which means that it can be a lot lighter in tone. On top of that, it has the rock in it, which is just something that every movie should have. Next, we have Avengers Infinity War Part 2, the hopefully epic conclusion to the Avengers saga. This movie does mark the end of a lot of actors' contracts, like Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, and Robert Downey Jr., until, you know, he feels like a $50 million paycheck. Then we have Justice League 2, didn't I just say this? Why would you put a release date for a sequel when the first movie is over two years away? What if Justice League 1 completely bombs? I mean, it won't, but hypothetically speaking, what if everyone hated it and no one went to see it? What then? This is such a stupid trend that movie studios need to stop. Okay, rant over. And finally, 2020. Like I said in my other video, it's hard to make judgments on movies coming out in five years. In fact, it's kind of ridiculous. So, I'm holding off judgment on Cyborg and Green Lantern for now. They could be good, they could be bad, we won't know for at least a couple years. Alright. 
right, before I go, there are some movies that'll probably be coming out in this time span that just haven't gotten a release date yet. An X-Force movie. Meh. I really wouldn't mind if an X-Force movie never happened. A solo Batman movie with Ben Affleck and Jared Leto. Should be cool. Another solo Superman movie. Could be cool. And finally, a Justice League Dark movie. That is, not a Justice League movie that is dark, but a movie based on the comic run Justice League Dark. This would probably be done by Gilmoro del Toro, which I probably said wrong, and it would be amazing. I mean, probably. I wouldn't know. Alright, correction. It sounds like it could be hypothetically amazing. So those are all the Marvel DC movies coming out over the course of the next five years. Which one are you most excited for? I have to say, Civil War and Justice League are probably the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.